last time I almost probably killed myself. And this time I feel like I wanna faint. Like Hey guys, what's up, what's up, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back, welcome back. So, what today is Tuesday. As you can see, I'm in the car. I'm headed, I have so much stuff to do today. So many errands to run because I have, it's just a lot going on, y'all. It's a lot going on, it's a lot of shit that I gotta get done because um, I'm going to school next week and the things that I have to get done, I need for the school. And most of the things are out of my hands. Like I, I did my part like a couple weeks ago and I still haven't received the paperwork back that I need for the school, which is annoying. And so I'm trying to go to my job today to figure out if that paperwork came back yet because I had to submit that stuff before Monday. And it's so annoying when you have to go through so many people to get it done. And then it's like, you get the the answer when you ask a question of, oh, we're waiting on this, we're waiting on this person to do this. Okay, well, can you reach out to those people to see what's the hold up? Because it's not fair to me that I came to you guys in advance and I still haven't got my stuff back. Excuse me, I've been drinking a lot of water. It's not fair to me. So, that's one thing I gotta do, go to my job, figure out what's going on with that paperwork. And then I gotta take, I have my uniform, uniforms in the back seat. I gotta go to Clothing and Sales and um, go take my uniform to get it altered. And then I gotta update my rank on some more um, duty uniforms, like regular uniforms or whatever. So this is about to cost some money, y'all. Getting uniforms altered, getting things stitched on, it's so much money. Even buying uniforms, why is this gate like this? Even buying uniforms is expensive. And yes, we do get a clothing allowance every year, but we have to buy things throughout the year. So even if I use my clothing allowance, you know, that I get every year, there's still other things that I need to buy, especially when I first became a jewel sergeant. I had to buy, well I had to put like the badge on uniforms, I had to get more uniforms sewn on, I had to buy just different stuff, but yeah. So I was trying to figure out the order of how I wanted to do things because it's already, like one oh, it's one oh three. I was thinking about going to my job last because that's gonna always be open. <clears throat> I was thinking about going there last, and then so I think I want to go to clothing and sales first because they I don't know. How you doing? Hey, how how you been? How good, how you been? I'm doing well. All right, nice to see you. All right. You have a good one. Yeah, so I think, oh gosh, I think I want to go to clothing and sales first because I think that, why is my camera upside down? Oh shit, hold on y'all. I'm trying to get y'all together on this mount. Oh, oh gosh, hold on. All right, I'm back, y'all. I had to fix this mount. <sighs> but, like I was saying, I think I'm gonna go to clothing and sales first because that may take a little minute because I actually have to put on my uniform so that they can alter it. 
and then after that <clears throat> I need to stop by the travel office because I need to figure out something I need to figure out if I'm on the right path so I'm gonna stop by the travel office after that and then I'm gonna go to my job and hope that the people are still there that I need to see because I should have turned. I forgot that road was open. The people are there that I need to see. I don't know, y'all. It's just a lot. And I, I tried to take care of this paperwork shit on Friday. And that was a waste of my time because literally nothing was done the system was down so i couldn't even do what i needed to do and it was just frustrating me because i'm not like a last minute person when it comes to this type of stuff because i know this stuff needs to be in the system and i gotta get signatures from my chain of command you know so i don't want to wait last minute for for that i'm trying to just go ahead and submit it so we ain't got to worry about it. You know what I'm saying? But I'll see y'all in a little bit. Hey y'all. So it's like a few hours later, right? Wait, my friend here. Mm -hmm. This steady, steady, hey. steady. One of the steadies. One of them. There's another one. Y'all yeah. done met him before too. But my friend came all the way from Savannah. To come to my dinner tonight. I feel so special. I feel so special, y'all. Yeah, so I'm having another dinner tonight, but I'm gonna tell y'all why later. I don't feel like getting to that, but I'm just so happy. All right, y'all. We in the car, headed to dinner. All right, so I'm gonna tell y'all this dinner is for me getting promoted to the next rank. So on March 1st, I picked up for Sergeant First Class and I didn't have a promotion ceremony, anything like that. So I just decided to have a dinner and that dinner is tonight. So we're actually headed there right now. Um, yeah, I've been a game over and then the time was messed up. I had to rush, I'm hot, I'm sweating, I'm just discombobulated right now. The dinner post started at seven. It said I won't get there till 7 11. So Y'all know how we get down. Are we ever on time? To our own stuff. I'm on time to other people's stuff, but to my stuff, I'm late. Why is that? on the plane. I'm hungry, but I'll tell you about that later. I'm trying to get a rental car. 
but I don't know where to go because it's eight different places for a rental car. I was downstairs, the line was all around the fucking corner. So I came upstairs because it said preferred members. So I'm gonna see like if I can do some finagling and they don't turn me around because that line was too long. I will literally be there for two hours, but I'll be back. Y'all, it's been one hour later and I just got through doing a car. One hour in that line. And it was just like, he didn't explain nothing or nothing, y'all. So now I'm about to walk. It's like a disaster. This day is a disaster. But I don't even know what kind of rental car I got. Give me a second. All right, y'all, look. It's 6.58 in where I'm at. I'm just now getting a car, y'all. And when they gave me the car and I walked up here, the car wasn't here. So I went back and got in line. And then as I'm standing there, five minutes go by, the car pull up. This is a disaster, y'all. I'm just had a long day. I'm trying to charge my phone. It's just, it's been a long day of traveling. This is just absurd. My phone about to die, y'all. Alright, let me put this in. I ain't paying for this shit, though. It don't matter. I got me a nice car to myself. Alright, phone is charging. Now, let me see where I'm going. Alright, y'all. I gotta put in this address. Because I don't know how to get to the post. From here. Uh, 16 minutes. Alright y'all, it's a 16 minute drive. I will see y'all when I get there to go check in my hotel. Hey y'all, so I made it to my hotel. Let me just tell y'all something. Today has been such a rough day for me. And it wasn't even a traveling part. I haven't rode on a plane in a while, so I had to get used to that. Especially, like, anything over two hours. Like, and then the mask on the whole time. And then I haven't ate all day. And... It is crazy. So yes, I made it to the room. It's a little simple room. So I'm currently at um, SLC and that stands for Senior Leader Course. And this is um, a course that you have to go to to proceed or progress or get selected or whatever for the next rank or whatever, right? So you have BLC, ALC, and SLC. So, and MLC. So, I'm at SLC. I'm just overwhelmed. And I'm just trying to get through tomorrow morning so that I can eat. And I'm going to tell y'all why I haven't ate when I start, like, um, working on. When I start doing what I need to do later. I'll tell y'all why I haven't ate. But the good news is that when we come to these schools, um, you typically get your own room. So um, I'm gonna show y'all the room. It's real like a simple room, nothing special. So. But what I'm about to do now is uh, sanitize this entire room. I'm gonna clean the bathroom too, but I'm not gonna do it right now. I'm gonna do it a little bit later. Cause I bought some stuff for that. But I was about to get ready to go downstairs because I need to get on the computer real quick. Just send an email to my commander. But um, I just want to come on here and tell y'all why 
I haven't ate because I know y'all probably wondering. But y'all, so I haven't ate because I've kind of been fasting for the last. Uh, I've kind of been fasting for the last three days. So I fasted actually all the way up until Friday. And then Friday, I had a celebration dinner. So I did that, as you guys saw. And then at the Friday, I fasted Saturday, Sunday, Monday. And I'm not even gonna say fasted. So what I did was I only ate um, like the bare minimum. So I wanna say on Saturday, I didn't eat anything. I just drank a lot of water. And then on Sunday, I ate only cucumbers and vinegar and water. And then today, before I left, early this morning, like around seven, I ate cucumbers and vinegar and just a little bit of water. Because I have a height and weight in the morning and the military doesn't favor my body type as well as others by the type. I'm not the only one that struggles with this, but it's draining. It's a hassle and like I'm tired and I'm hungry and I'm just over it. I'm over it because at this point like something should happen, something different. But we can sit up here and complain about it, you know what I'm saying? As much as we want, but it's not going to change. Not right now. So y'all can tell, like, I'm just, I'm really tired. I'm drained. I go through so much to try to make sure that my waist is small enough. Or, like, my hips aren't that big. And <laughs> it's a lot. This journey. Last time I almost probably killed myself. And this time I feel like I'm gonna faint. Like I have no energy. I haven't ate all day. I haven't really ate in the last couple days. You know what I'm saying? I can't really drink no water. I'm dehydrated. Tomorrow I do have my height and weight in the morning. I have to be there at zero five. So, and then I'm gonna come back tomorrow and let y'all know if I pass or not. So, we shall see. Hey y'all, all right. So it's actually two days later, right? So I last talked about how the next day, which is gonna be Tuesday, that I was getting my way in, right? So yesterday was Tuesday. When I got done with just completely Tuesday, I just, was tired like yesterday literally when I got out of class I went to go get a notebook and some food I came back ate my food took a shower and I was in bed by 6 37 and I was knocked out yesterday but anyway um I was supposed to let y'all know if I passed my hideaway or not and I did pass so that's good um I just wanted to let y'all know what would happen like in uh, NCOES or whatever if you don't pass that's here in the army and I don't it should be every NCOES but I'm not sure but this particular NCOES that I'm in if you don't pass um you have you get a counseling statement basically saying that you didn't pass and that you um basically you will be you will not be eligible to uh eligible for like coming out this or being recognized you know even if you um have the required gpa you will not get that because you got um an event oriented counseling that was negative so being that you failed that's a negative counseling so you get that and then you get a talk from or speech or whatever from either like the first sign or the senior somebody will speak to you about you failing and 
I don't know what they say, you know, because I didn't feel, I don't know. But somebody higher will speak to you about you failing, blah, blah, blah. And then they'll tell you that you have seven days to pass. And I believe if you don't pass the second time, as they give you seven days, that you get kicked out of the course. I don't know nobody that haven't passed the second time. I'm not sure how that works, y'all. But as far as like getting kicked out of course, but I believe that's what happens because you only get two tries, okay? So that's that. But all is well with me. Y'all, I'm just glad that I passed because your girl, I couldn't go through that. I couldn't, no, that shit was stressing me out. And I just didn't have time. For that and I was talking to the other females here and they were saying like they was going through the same thing and you know so it's not just me it's other females throughout the the military that go through the things that I do to make sure that we meet uh that we're how you saying that we pass safe anywho that's that I literally just got out of class walked in here trying to decide what I'm gonna do uh I'm trying not to go to sleep so early today, but really all I want to do is get in the bed. I mean, take a shower and get in the bed. I have flag detail in the morning, so I have formation at six o'clock in the morning, so, which is not bad, you know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to get used to waking up early because once I was done with the trail, I didn't have to wake up early no more, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. I may come back if I do something interesting or if I just want to pick up the camera and talk to y'all. I don't know. We'll see.